Hey folks, and thanks for joining me. I've got that Music Air radio, which I believe to be dated probably 1939, 1940. Somewhere in that area, and I appreciate the feedback from the uh, viewers here on the uh, model and uh, actually who manufactured the uh, radio, which I'm pretty sure now I understand uh, who made it and have a, a schematic for it. A little more due diligence here. There were a couple clues, one that I missed, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Then the uh, second clue here, you can see the uh, full wave rectifier, the 5Y3. There's uh, some screws here where the tube socket's been added. And you guys saw on the side there where this was a 6-volt uh, farm radio, and it was converted over to uh, 110 or the uh, AC power at some point. And you can see the uh, power transformer resides back here in the back that someone, I believe, has mounted to the chassis. Let me uh, pop the rectifier tube out here, and I'll uh, show you the cut. And you can see it really doesn't look like a factory cut. It was well done, but looks like it was probably done in a shop at some point in time back in the day. So I'll try to hold that there if that's showing up, but you can see the uh, cut there in the uh, metal, sheet metal itself, and the two screws I was alluding to. We'll know more when I uh, pop the uh, chassis here out of the cabinet, and uh, we'll take a look underneath. There will probably be some clues. This indeed was uh, modified at some point. And the other clue that I missed is uh, just to the right of the 160. 208 marking here on the back of the chassis. Let me show you that real quick. So if you look real close here, you'll see on the chassis itself stamped 130B. That comes back to a Sentinel radio, 1939. The uh, schematic matches less the uh, rectifier tube and the transformer. And again, many tube substitutions were made. So uh, that's kind of what threw me off in doing my uh, due diligence. All the tube subs are valid for a parallel circuit, so we've got a good match. Let me uh, go ahead and get the uh, chassis removed from the cabinet here, and uh, let's see what we've got underneath here. little rest here on top of the uh, transformer uh, bell housing here and it'd be interesting to see if this particular uh, capacitor here was uh, originally here or not I don't see it on the uh, schematic that I referenced that may have been added as well when the uh, rectifier tube was added in addition to the uh, power transformer itself everything else looks uh, original here And the chassis just needs a little cleaning. So uh, no rust that I can see. And a good look at the uh, antenna coil here. Which covers the uh, broadcast band and the uh, short wave band. And it's interesting here, too, if you guys can see that, the tube socket's actually marked 6 delta 8 g We'll look at these others and see if they're marked as well, and that'll be another good indicator that I've got the uh, correct model number here. And indeed, this one's marked as well, 6S7. Let's flip this thing over and uh, just take a glance underneath and see what it looks like real quick. Laying it down here, a good look here underneath the uh, chassis, and I tell you, it looks uh, really nice and clean. You can see those uh, rubber uh, bumper stop points here that was referenced on the uh, decal on the back. They're compressed and uh, pretty much dry rotted, so we'll replace those. 
and you can see the additional uh, add-on here for the uh, rectifier tube here in addition to the uh, power transformer that uh, appears to be added as well. Again, unless this was done at the uh, factory itself at the uh, end of the uh, production cycle. So uh, again, I'm just assuming someone actually made the modification. It could have been a, a factory uh, change as well toward the uh, end of the uh, production cycle. If anybody knows for uh, sure, please chime in, let me know. All the uh, capacitors here, you can see a few definitely have been uh, probably replaced at some point in time along the way. And the uh, resistors, just at a glance here from a few feet away, will look to be original. And the uh, chassis is wide open, so it should be uh, easy to uh, get in here and replace the uh, capacitors and replace any of these uh, resistors as well that are out of tolerance. We'll get started on that soon. I just wanted to uh, take a look underneath and uh, have you guys along as well to uh, check things out. I appreciate you guys uh, joining me and thanks for watching again on the uh, Music Air Coast to Coast Stores uh, radio from 1939.